By now, we've recapped a surprise visit from Olympic medalist Erin Hamlin, the first home win in Utica Comets franchise history, and Colin Stewart's four goal night back in December on Clinton Comet night. And now it's finally time to finish off the list. I present to you the best fans in the AHL, moments four, three, two, and one from the Utica Comets inaugural season. Coming in at number four, the finale of Irish night. The Comets certainly had a flair for the dramatic in their first season. They won 20 games in which they were tied or trailing heading into the third period. Irish night was one of those nights and built up to one of the best finishes of the season. Celebrating St. Patrick's Day and decked out in green sweaters, the Comets fell behind 1-0. Alex Millay got the crowd engaged as he and Bobby Farnham came out of the penalty box and dropped the gloves at center ice. A decisive win for Malay set the tone for the third period. Into the final minute of the third, still trailing 1-0, Travis Green pulled goaltender Joachim Eriksson for the extra attacker. An offensive zone faceoff with 17.7 seconds left led to Brandon DeFazio's game-tying goal with 7.3 seconds left. Then in the shootout, with the first nine shooters having already been stopped, the stage was set for Cal O'Reilly. They are on their feet. A sellout crowd. O'Reilly on Irish night. Picks it up and closes in. Shoots and scores! Callahan Patrick O'Reilly with the game-winning goal with a shamrock on his shoulder. It's a 2-1 win for the Comets. The luck of the Irish was with the Comets that night, and it sent the fans home with a great memory of our number four moment. Coming in at number three, the end of the final game of the season. Our number three moment is the final moments of the inaugural season. The Comets won the game, but the final score proved to be irrelevant. It was the emotion within the odd as the game came to a close that will stick out in the minds of Comets fans all summer. The odd was loud all season, but that night it was pushed to a new level. Just like in their first home win, it was a sold-out building that was treated to a 2-0 shutout victory. And in the final minutes, Comets players were given a standing ovation. But it was more than that. It was less about the players and more about the city and the fans. The city was proud to have the AHL back, and the players were proud of the fans that had supported them through the ups and downs of an inaugural campaign. Chants of Utica and Let's Go Comets rained down on the ice and filled an already full building. It was a special feeling being there that night, one that words cannot properly explain and one that anyone who was lucky enough to be there will not soon forget. And you don't need me to tell you what is happening here. This is a city that has grown proud of their American Hockey League team. Coming in at number two, Darren Archibald's monstrous hit. The date was November 26th. It was a Tuesday night and the Lake Erie Monsters were in town. Those are the details surrounding what has simply become known as the hit. Comets forward Darren Archibald delivered a devastating hit on Carl Stollery in the third period that sent the defenseman flying. A shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder impact had Stollery flipping through the air and left the odd attendants ooing and eyeing. A breathtaking hit, not just for Stollery, who is impressive live and seems to get better every time you watch it. Apparently the internet agrees, as the original posting of the video has over 400,000 views on YouTube. After the game, Archibald said, quote, That's my job, to lay the body out there. And to that, we say, job well done, Archie. Job well done. And coming in at number one, the Utica Comets home opener. How could the top moment of the year be anything but the return of AHL hockey to the odd? Hockey fans waited 20 years for the American Hockey League to return to Utica after the Devils left in 1993. The season kicked off on October 11th, but fans in Utica had to wait until the 23rd to get a look at the club on home ice. The game didn't start until 7.30, but thousands of fans gathered outside the odd for Fan Fest that started at 4 p.m. Hockey legend Gordie Howe appeared inside autographs, plus the iconic Hanson brothers from the film Slapshot took pictures with fans. Night Ranger treated the crowd to a performance before fireworks erupted as fans entered the refurbished odd for the first time. 
after a microphone malfunction left fans unable to hear Night Ranger's performance of the Star Spangled Banner, the crowd took over and 4,000 fans sang in unison as the energy in the building grew with each word. When the puck finally dropped, a new era of hockey in Utica officially began. The first period saw the first fight. Darren Archibald took on Rome's Tim Sestito. The first Comets goal at the on came on a Frank Corrado shot in the third period. And although the Comets lost the game 4-1 to the Albany Devils that night, it couldn't dampen the celebration that had been 20 years in the making. Well, it was almost impossible for us to pick just 10 moments from the Utica Comets inaugural season. We hope that you've enjoyed watching a bit of history being made here in Utica, New York. I know I speak for all Comets fans when I say, is it October yet? Thanks for watching. And remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out UticaComets.com for all breaking Comets news.